The Million Dollar Masterpiece The streets of Paris were bustling with energy on that warm summer night. It was a night to behold, the sky lit up with stars and a gentle breeze blowing through the trees in the nearby park. The front doors of the National Art Museum of Paris swung open, revealing one of the most exquisite pieces of artwork ever created. The painting was a large, bronze-framed masterpiece depicting a beautiful landscape with a river winding through it. It was valued at over $1 million and said to be a true masterpiece. Inside the museum, a security guard patrolled the area, making sure that all was in order. But unbeknownst to him, someone had infiltrated the museum and, in the darkness of the night, had stolen the painting. When the guard made his rounds and noticed the painting was missing, he had a feeling that something was off. He checked the surveillance cameras, and they had captured someone leaving the museum with the painting, but they were wearing a mask and had their face shielded, making them unrecognizable. The guard quickly notified the police, and soon detectives were at the scene, examining the security footage and interviewing various museum staff. One particular employee, an art historian, told the detectives that she had seen a suspicious individual watching the painting a few weeks before it was stolen. The detectives quickly contacted the man and, after a lengthy interrogation, they finally managed to get a name out of him, John Smith. Smith had a criminal record and a long history of theft, so it seemed likely that he was the thief. The detectives contacted the authorities in Smith's home country and asked for assistance in tracking him down. Eventually, with the help of Interpol, they were able to apprehend him and recover the painting. The painting was returned to the museum where it belonged, and John Smith was sentenced to ten years in jail. The story of the million-dollar masterpiece and the thief who tried to take it made headlines all over the world and is still remembered to this day.